Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another guide for Teen Gohan. So this is the Season 2 version of the guide. So in this video I'll be explaining about all the combos in the corner as well as mid-screen where he uses the bomblers. Now other than that, I'll be explaining about the block strings which you need to know in order to pressure the opponent as well as the touch of death combos. And I also learned a lot about Teen Gohan from Rocket as well as Havrini HD. So please do go ahead and support them. And also, it takes a while to learn Teen Gohan, so hope this guide will help out. If it does, please do leave a like because that really helps out my channel. And with that said, let's get into the guide. So first off is the corner combo one. So this is making use of the quadruple forward light in the corner and then using the bomb loops to do the combo. Let me try to explain this in slow motion. That way you can understand better. Okay, so you can do this by doing crouching medium, standing medium into jump cancel medium, quad circle forward medium after that. And then when you come down, you do crouching medium heavy into quad circle forward light. Five hits, after that you do the vanish, and then you do the two bomb loops. You need to give some time there. So after that, you jump forward into light medium heavy into quad circle forward light. So you can also change the corner combo one in order to accommodate three bombs after the vanish. You just have to delay the vanish a little bit and then do instant air dash forward and then do the three bomb loops. I'll show the last piece in slow motion so you guys can understand better. Now at the end, why I'm calling Vegeta is just because the number of hits will be too much and I want to make sure I get the Dragon Rush so that's why I called Vegeta and then did the Dragon Rush. Alright, so let's move on to the next combo here. So in the corner combo 2, you'll do the quad circle forward medium on the ground and then do the bomb loops, 3 bomb loops. But there's a trick involved in doing this combo, so let me try to explain it here. Okay, so here you do the crouching medium, standing medium into quad circle forward medium, then medium again, delay the third medium, and then do two more mediums. After that, back dash into three bomb loops, and then you do the heavy into quad circle forward light, into four mediums, and then do the quad circle forward light. Now you can also change the ending to do the quad circle forward light in the air, and then get a dragon rush. So next up would be the normal mid-screen combo. So this is, uh, you can follow up with the assist and get a same combo afterwards. So this is basically a standard combo on the mid-screen. You can uh, get the assist, you can change the assist to TN or Android 21 or Android 16. There's many options, so this would be the bread and butter in the uh, mid-screen. Next up would be the optimal corner combo with Teen Gohan while using the assist. So in this particular combo, if you do super at the end, you'll get 78% amount of damage. Without super, you'll get 61% damage. And that is from zero bar start. So that's pretty good. I mean, this combo, the only toughest part which I felt was during the 3S, the bomb loops. So right here, you do the heavy into quad circle forward light, assist, then 3S, backdash, immediately after doing the backdash, you need to use the 1S. And then continue the combo. So you can see the notations there, and at the end you can finish off by doing the super. Now this is a little bit difficult, but with practice, you'll get it. Next step is the optimal current combo 2, so this is in the same way as the previous combo, except it's a little bit easier to perform, but the damage output is a little bit less than the previous combo. So let me try to explain how you can do this in the corner. So you can do this by doing crouching medium, standing medium, into jump cancel, light, light, heavy, quad circle forward, light, assist. 1S, 3S, jump forward, light, light, or light, medium, heavy, into quad circle forward, light, assist. Then again on the ground, you do the quad circle forward, light, into four mediums. So right after that, it will be a wall bounce, and then when it comes down, you can do the dragon rush into quad circle back, light, into super. 
So next up is the Sparky combo in mid screen. So the startup bars which is needed is two bars at the beginning and then you can complete the sparking combo and get the 100% damage. So this, keep in mind that the team which I'm using is Goku Super Saiyan, Vegeta Super Saiyan and Team Gohan. So you guys might as well try some, some other different teams and see what happens. Other than that, it's a really nice combo for Team Gohan in mid screen. Okay, so you can do this by doing crouching medium, standing medium into quad circle back medium, then sparking into crouching medium heavy, quad circle forward at medium, then light medium, light light into sparking vanish, then key blast, you do the four bomb loops into jump forward, light light heavy, quad circle forward light, then Goku Super Saiyan assist into dragon rush, then you do the quad circle back light, then you do the uh, supers. So after you do the level three at the end, that should be a kill. So next up is the sparking corner combo. So this is the same combo as the previous combo, but you do it in the corner. There might be a few changes. I'll let you guys know that in the slow motion guide. But other than that, everything remains the same and you get 100% damage at the end, so that's pretty good if you get them uh, by doing a crouching medium. Alright, so let me try to explain how you can do this. So you can do this by doing crouching medium, standing medium into quad circle back medium in the corner and then sparking, crouching medium heavy into quad circle forward medium, after that medium again, then three lights and then do the same combo as the mid-screen combo. Nothing changes, everything remains the same. And then at the end you do the supers and you get 100% damage. Now let's talk about the block strings and the other tactics that you need to know. Okay, for Team Gohan block strings, what can you do? So you can uh, use the light auto combo and do the quad circle forward medium in the air and then pressure the opponent again because you'll get a overhead after that. So this is most commonly used uh, block string. And other than that, you can use the first two hits of the light auto combo and then do the key blast into quad circle forward medium. So this is a little bit advanced. So you can see here, you can do that and then pressure the opponent again, call the assist. You can also do the cross up into key blast, then the legs, which is insane pressure. And then you can also use the uh, key blast on the ground to Give some gap and then do the crouching medium again, similar to Goku Super Saiyan. Now this is a different variation where he uses the stagger a lot. Now as you can see in this combo, you can know how much amount of stagger pressure does Go Team Gohan has. Because the number of frames on the lights as well as the crouching light is so low, the opponent has to exactly know when I'm staggering because it's so hard to notice that. Now this is again in the corner, so see this combo here. You can use the key blast uh, into 3S, and then again do the quad circle forward medium. This again pressures the opponent further in, so that's a pretty good combo in the corner if you get it. And you can also instant air dash after the uh, bomb loops. So that's also a plus, so there's a lot or a ton of mix-ups. Now, if while playing Team Gohan, if you mix all the block strings up, if you do one block string at a time, the opponent will get confused, definitely. And also you can use the heavy version of the legs in the air. So if you use that, they have to block all the attacks coming afterwards because it's a true block string. Now, one thing to remember here would be to, you can also do two quad circle forward mediums after you get the Lex, and you have to remember the medium version, they can interrupt it, the heavy version, they can't. 
So you have to remember that. Now other than the block swings, I want to explain to you guys how you can do the bomb loop, aim to super dash, and then get the Lex. So after a super dash, you can either do medium into quad circle forward light or light into quad circle forward light. Those two works. Sometimes you might have to delay the heavy, so note that down. Now if you do it at an angle like this, you'll get the light as well as medium version of the Lex. Now after the vanish, you can do the... Now this is important, let me try to explain this in slow motion. Okay, so after the vanish, what you need to do is to do the crunching light and then standing medium, jump cancel medium into down heavy, jump cancel light medium into key blast, then do the two bomb loops and then super dash into medium heavy quad circle forward light now sometimes you might have to delay the super dash in order to get the medium into light version of the legs medium heavy into light version of the legs so keep that in mind so there's a lot of things involved while playing teen con so you have to keep everything in mind and it might take a while to practice with him so now the one thing which I wanted to explain would be the bomb loop delay to get the quad circle forward medium on the ground. Now this is really difficult to perform, but if you're, yeah, if you guys are able to get the delay timing, that would be perfect to get this combo done. Now in order to do this combo, you need to delay the super dash first, and then do the medium into delayed key blast or the bomb. And then when you reach the ground, you need to do the quad circle forward medium and then do the heavy at the end to get another super dash where you get a hard knockdown. So that's the complete combo for this. Another thing would be you can get a, after you get a light auto combo, you can directly go into the Lex, light version of the Lex and then get, get the Vegeta assist going. And after that, you can again combo into the bomb loops and, and super dash them. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the uh, sparking combo where you can switch the side that is on the ground. If you get the quadruple back light when they're trying to do the overhead, you win. So if you do this combo right. So this will be the best way to deal with them in the corner. I know many people will be trying to do the overhead. So keep a note of, uh, keep a track of this and practice it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this guide and hope this guide helped you to learn Teen Gohan. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys, bye bye.